Hi, the SI Meteorologist, Paul Dorian here on Monday, December 5th. Well, this looks like quite a transitional type of week where we start off quite mild here in the Mid-Atlantic on Monday and Tuesday. In fact, temperatures could surpass 60 degrees on both days in many spots in the Mid-Atlantic to start the week. But then colder air will move in behind a slow-moving cold front by the middle and latter part of the week. And once that colder pattern develops, it looks like it'll stick around for a while. It certainly will be colder than we've been for the last couple of weeks or so. Now, there will be some rain during this transition as several waves of low pressure ride up along this front. And it certainly is not out of the question that the last wave produces some snow here in the Mid-Atlantic region later on about Wednesday night or early Thursday. There's a lot of uncertainty about that, but it is certainly in the realm of possibility. So let's take a look at the latest surface map. First of all, high pressure continues to exist right along the east coast, and there's still a south or southwesterly flow of mild and moist air, a lot of fog here in the mid-Atlantic region to start the week early Monday morning. That'll burn off by the late morning, and temperatures should approach 60 degrees. It'll be mostly cloudy, but there can be some sunny intervals as well during the midday and afternoon hours. Meanwhile, here's the big culprit for our midweek weather pattern that will develop. This is the slow-moving cold front that has been moving across the country, and it is causing quite a bit of um, activity here. First of all, a wide band of rainfall right now along the cold frontal system as it slowly moves through the Midwest. Meanwhile, in the colder air, there is quite a threat for heavy snow across New Mexico and even northern Texas in southern part of Oklahoma later on today and tonight as this particular system slowly feeds into the, the, the picture here in the cold air behind this slow-moving cold front. And all of this is headed now to, towards the east coast. And again, there will be several waves of low pressure moving up along this front as it just grudgingly makes its way to the east coast. And by the time the last wave develops, later on Wednesday, perhaps into Thursday, enough cold air may be in place here in the Mid-Atlantic region for snow to be a possibility. Here's the latest IR composite satellite loop of the nation. First of all, wide band of clouds associated with that slow-moving front and a wide band of rainfall as well, all the way from the Ohio Valley down into the uh, near the Gulf region. Meanwhile, back behind the front in the colder air, there's a little bit of spin in the atmosphere right here as low pressure develops, and this will become a major snowstorm for places like New Mexico and on into northern Texas and perhaps even into Oklahoma later on today and tonight. This cold air is, again, making its way across the nation, and by Tuesday and Wednesday, the cold front will lie along the east coast, and these low pressures will begin to affect us. In fact, there could be a couple of showers later on tonight, but certainly some rain tomorrow, and then Wednesday as the colder air starts to move in. Well, let's kind of walk through the computer forecast models. There have been some discrepancies between the models themselves and, and the discrepancies between the GFS, the NAM, and European model. And we'll kind of touch upon that over the next couple of minutes and monitor the situation over the next 12 to 24 hours or so. First of all, this is the GSF, GFS computer forecast model for Wednesday morning. The frontal system has slid through. It's now along the east coast, but there still is this corridor of moisture riding up along the coast. It's, it's not brutally cold air by Wednesday, but certainly Wednesday looks considerably colder than tomorrow, for example. In fact, by the time the cold air actually gets in, we'll drop some 15 to 20 degrees between the Tuesday afternoon highs in the low 60s to the Thursday highs, it probably only in the 40s. And this is the Wednesday morning situation with still a little bit of rainfall here in the Mid-Atlantic region. Now let's jump ahead to Thursday morning for the last night's Zero-Z GFS model run. Well, here's the Thursday morning computer forecast run from the GFS. This is from last night's Zero-Z run. And this has a low pressure, the last low along the, the uh, uh, cold frontal system, quite a bit to the south and east compared to some recent runs for the GFS model. Uh, in fact, the last couple of days, GFS model has had this storm well to the west and given quite a bit of precipitation, especially in the form of rain possibly changing to snow on Thursday. But now the latest run, at least from Zero Z last night from the GFS model, has this storm farther to the south and he's much less of a threat for the mid-Atlantic region on Thursday. Now let's take a look at some of the upper air charts to see how uh, this, why this may be different than the NAM model, for example. Well, this is the 500 millibar GFS map for Thursday morning, and notice there's 
a wave in the upper part of the atmosphere right along the east coast along around Thursday morning. The surface low is just off the coast. So this is from last night's Zero Z GFS model run. And when you look at this other upper air pattern, you can believe what you just saw at the surface with that low pressure farther to the south and east, probably not affecting the mid-Atlantic region on Thursday. However, let's now take a look at the latest NAM model. And here it is for Thursday morning, the NAM, North American Mesoscale model. This has quite a bit more impressive of an upper air pattern. This suggests surface low perhaps farther to the west compared to the GFS in the northern part of Virginia on Thursday. So the NAM model is still holding out for the possibility of some precipitation on Thursday. And the colder air will be established, so it could even be in the form of snow. And this particular upper air system is now just moving into the southwestern states. So the models later on today, for example, should definitely pick up this upper air system. But judging by what the NAM model has in the upper air, I'm still holding out the possibility of a storm system here in the mid-Atlantic region on Thursday. And, of course, we'll monitor that over the next couple of hours and a couple of days. That's it for now. I'm the SI meteorologist, Paul Dorian.